This video is a guide to recognizing your PLL from two sides quickly. That way you spend less time fumbling around doing U moves and more time getting right to your PLL and solving the cube. Stick around for some extra recognition tips like how to differentiate between a GD and a GB perm. There are four things we'll be looking for in this order, bars, headlights, checkered patterns, and bookends. A bar is two or three adjacent pieces that are solved relative to each other, like this. Headlights is when you have two solved corners with the same color and then a different colored edge in the middle. A checkered pattern is when you have stickers that alternate in color. A checkered pattern is not considered a checkered pattern if it's three or less stickers. Here we have a six sticker checkered pattern that alternates between orange and blue. Bookends are when the same sticker appears on the far left and on the far right, like here. When you see a three bar, you could have three different possibilities. First, you could have an F perm, which looks like this. Second, you could have a J perm, which looks like this. And third, you could have a U perm, which looks like this. The way we tell the difference between these is that F perm has no bars and it has these two opposite stickers, if you're wondering. J perm has another two bar after the three bar. And U perm has a three bar followed by headlights. For more on how to tell the difference between UA and UB perm, stick around till the end of the video. If you see two pairs of headlights, then you could have an H perm, a U perm, or a Z perm. Here's how I tell the difference. H perms are stupidly easy. You have two pairs of headlights with an opposite edge in the middle of each of them. No other case looks like this. For U perms, it's also easy if you see an opposite edge and an adjacent edge in between the two headlights, then you know it has to be a U perm. The trick comes when you have two adjacents or two adjacents. Now the thing is, this is a Z perm and this is a U perm. The way you can tell the difference is that this has four colors, blue, red, green, and orange, while this one only has three. It does not have an orange sticker anywhere. So if you have four colors and two adjacent headlights, then it's a Z perm. But if you only have three colors and two adjacent headlights, then it's a U perm. Now, if you see two bars of two stickers, then you could have a J perm, an N perm, an A perm, a V perm, or a Y perm. Now, here's how you tell the difference. Y perms, when you see the two bars, it's quite self-explanatory. They're both on the outside, and you have an opposite sticker here and here. V perm is also similar, where you have the two bars on the inside with opposite stickers on the outside compared to their bars. So I feel like I don't really need to cover these, as they're quite easy. And with A perm, you have bookends and two inner bars. For N perms, you will see a bar followed by an opposite sticker, and then another bar followed by an opposite sticker. But they'll both be on the same side, compared to with a Y perm, for instance. You have a bar followed by an opposite sticker, and a bar followed by an opposite sticker, but they're both on the outside here. With the N perm, they're both on the left. And if you see two two bars, for instance, for a J perm, They'll both be on the same side, but they'll be of adjacent colors. That's how you can tell the difference there. If you can see a two bar and headlights, then you could have an A perm, a G perm, a T perm, or an R perm. I do hope that you can recognize T perms and R perms, though, as they're quite easy to recognize because of the adjacent versus the opposite color and the attached two bar. So the real difficulty is differentiating between G perms and A perms without rotating at all. So the way you do it is that you have an A perm and if you have the bar, then you look at the stickers and you look for a checker pattern. If you have a four sticker checker pattern and a bar, then it is an A perm. But if you only have a three sticker checker pattern and a bar, then it's a G perm. So if you have headlights and nothing else, the first thing you want to look at is what sticker is in between the headlights. So here it's an adjacent one and here it's opposite. 
Now, if it's opposite, that means you have GD or GB, and I'll talk more about that later on in the video, so stick around. Now, if it's adjacent, then you want to look for the uh, checker pattern, and you want to see whether it's a four-sticker checker pattern like it is here, or a five-sticker one. If it's a five-sticker checker pattern like this, and you have nothing else, then it's an R perm and the bar is here. If you have a four sticker checker pattern and no bar, which is important because if it was four stickers and a bar, then you'd have an A perm. But in this case, it's four stickers and no bar, which means that you have a G perm and the bars in the back. So here it's GC perm. Now, if you only see one bar, then you want to first identify whether it's on the outside of the stickers that you can see or on the inside. So in this case, it's on the inside, and in this case, it's on the outside. First, we're going to talk about the cases where the bars are on the outside. Now that we know the bar is on the outside, there are five different cases we could have. So here, we really need to be careful about what we're looking for. Now, the first thing we look for is bookends, which most of these have bookends. This has bookends, this has bookends, this has bookends, and this has bookends. But this one does not, because see, this sticker's orange and that one's green which means that this has to be a V-perm. So that's the first thing you look for, is whether it has bookends or not. If it doesn't have bookends, then it's a V-perm. The next thing we look for is whether we have four colors or whether a color appears twice or something. So here we look and we see that we have four colors. And here we also have four colors. So we'll put those over to this side, and then these ones we have a sticker that appears twice and another sticker that appears twice. And the sticker that appears twice matters. So here, it's the opposite sticker that appears twice, which means that this is a GD or a GB perm. And then you can use your corner recognition, which I talk about later, to recognize where the headlights are, so that you know that this is, in fact, a GD perm. B perm. Um, and then this one here, we see that the green sticker appears twice and that it's adjacent to the bar which means that this is an R perm. Now on to the cases with four colors. These don't have any sticker that appears twice, but what we're going to look at is the sticker that appears next to the bar. So the red, red sticker here and the blue sticker here. If the sticker is opposite, then that means that you have an A perm. And if the sticker is an adjacent color to the bar, then that means that you have a T perm. Now, if the bar is on the inside, we're going to look for bookends again. And if you don't have bookends, then that means that you have Y perm. So this one right here is a Y perm. If we do have bookends, then we want to know what color they are in relation to the bar. So here, the bookends are red and the bar is blue. So they're adjacent, meaning that we have a GC or a GA perm. In this case, we have a GC perm. And then over here, the bookends are opposite to the bar, meaning that we either have a GD or a GB perm. In this case, we have a GD perm. Now we're on to some of the hardest cases where all you have to go off of is bookends and checkered patterns. The first thing you want to look for is checkered patterns. So if you have bookends and then you have a four sticker checker pattern in between them, that means that you have an F perm. If you don't have a, any checker pattern at all, then you want to look at which color appears twice and how it relates to the bookend color. So here we have orange bookends, and the sticker that appears twice in between them is blue, which is adjacent, which then means that we must have an R perm, which we do. But if the sticker that appears twice in between the bookends is opposite, then that means that we must have a G perm. So in this case, we have a GC perm. If you don't have bookends, then what you're going to want to look for are checkered patterns. As you can see here, we have a checkered pattern on the outside. It goes blue, red, blue, red, if we ignore this center one. And I like to imagine that these checkered patterns are blocks, so this would be a Y perm. And it is. The same goes for this one. There's a four-sticker checker pattern in between the two things that would have been bookends if we had them, but we don't. I imagine these as blocks, and I now know that it's a V-perm. And it is. Now, this is a tricky one. There is no checkered pattern, and 
There are no bookmarks and there are no headlights. There is nothing to look for here. But what I like to see is that if I haven't recognized anything, then I look at these two stickers and I see that they match and the other two stickers are opposite. So like I look at the sticker of this corner here and the edge and they're the same. That means the other two should be opposites. And that's how I know that it's an EPERM, which it is. Now we're on to some cases where it's very difficult to tell the difference between the two. So, for instance, here we have uh, two GD or GB perms. And the way you would tell the difference from this angle is that you look at the colors of the headlights. So they're blue and green. And then you have blue or green on the other side. But you also have colors that are not blue or green. So on this one, we have two stickers that are not blue or green color. And here we only have one. So what I like to do is I like to remember that if we have one, that means that the bar is closer to us, and so it will be here. And if we have two that don't match the blue or green of the headlights, then the bar is farther away, so it will be back here, which it is. Another case where it's hard to tell the difference is AA and AB perm. The way that you can remember this is that the headlights are always next to the side with the adjacent colors. So here, the headlights should be adjacent, so they're here. And then for this one, these two are adjacent, so the headlights are here. Using two-sided PLL recognition, you would be able to recognize, because there are bookmarks and a four-sticker checker pattern in the middle, that this is an F-perm. But what is very difficult for most people is to tell whether the block is here or here. And the best way to tell is to know that the block is always next to the side that has the opposite stickers. So here we have adjacent, and here we have opposite, meaning that the block has to be here. And it is. Here's the trick for telling the difference between the UA perm and the UB perm. What I do is I look to see whether the opposite edge is on the right or the left. And then I also remember the alphabet goes A, B. And then I know that we read from left to right. At least that's how it is on the western side of the world. So if my opposite edge is on the left, then it's A. Opposite edge on the right, B. So A, B, if you were reading, like A, B, like A, B, C, D. Now, you might be able to see the opposite edge, but not the bar, but a cool trick is just to remember that the opposite edge is always next to the bar, and it's never across from it. So if the bar is here, the opposite edge has to be here or here, and it's never going to be in this location. Same goes here, so I know that the bar has to be right here, because it couldn't be over here, because that would be opposite of the opposite edge. Now, if you can't see an opposite edge, and you also can't see the bar, then you have to look at the colors, and you have to identify which one is the odd color out. So over here, I can see orange and blue and blue and red. So if I cover this sticker, it's all orange and blue, meaning that this is the only sticker of its color. And over here, the same goes for the orange. This is the only sticker of its color. So these are considered the odd stickers out, and they're always opposite of the bar. So that would mean that the bar for this case is back here, and it is, and for this case, the bar is back here. That is all of the recognition part for this video. Now I'm going to show you guys the trainer over here, and uh, this is a PDF guide, which I'll leave linked in the description. Uh, you should probably use these to practice, and all of the PLLs are labeled clearly here, and you'll just click Start, and it will give you a two-sided PLL to recognize. So for this one, it would be UB, and it tells you what time you have, and you can record your stats and everything, and it's really great, so go check it out. Uh, it's a really great way to practice your two-sided PLL recognition. And then this is a PDF guide in case you forget anything from this video. Uh, also, I recommend that you implement this into your solves by doing this interesting technique where you close your eyes, then do your OLL. So you've gotten to OLL, you close your eyes, you do your OLL, and then you cover the back two sides of the cube before you open your eyes and then you open your eyes and try and recognize it from the two sides only that you can see and then you close your eyes again and try to execute your PLL and AUF so that's a really helpful technique to get you implementing it into your solves and eventually you'll be just recognizing your PLLs super fast and it'll be really great if you enjoy cubing tutorials tips and tricks and other cubing content please subscribe and like the video if it helped you Comment down below how long you think it will take me to learn full OLL. My next video is about me learning full OLL really fast. Thanks for watching, guys. Making this video really helped me improve my PLL recognition, and I hope it helped you too. 
Personally, I've been spending more time on these videos than actually putting the skills that I teach into practice, so I'm going to be uploading more like once a week from now on. That way I can take more time to actually learn the skills myself. That's all. Bye.